Hi Cancer. Welcome back to my channel. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus readings. Um, especially your Venus and your Moon sign when it comes to love. Venus is obviously the goddess of love. So you definitely want to, that's how you're feeling and showing up in relationships. And the moon sign is your, your emotions. Um, if for any reason that it doesn't completely resonate and you would like me to tune into just your energy, the link to my Etsy shop is down below. I offer a variety of readings. So anytime you feel like you're <clears throat> in the need of that, you can head over there. And I am just getting over being sick. So I do apologize for what my throat may sound like at times. All right, Spirit, this is for my Cancerians. Complicated love. Passion is at the bottom. At the bottom of this of this deck was crazy sexy love. And then passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and flirting. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Complicated love could be. You know, you caring for someone that might already be in a connection with someone else or the two of you, you and someone feeling having feelings for one another and being in a connection to someone else. We'll see. It could be you meeting someone and, you know, either you or them. Um going through a divorce or a separation and all that stuff in between might be making it complicated. I can't please have the energy for my Cancerians in regards to love and romance. King of Swords. And Seven of Swords. So you very well could be holding back how you feel about someone, you know, coming across as emotionally unavailable. There could be somebody that did you wrong, um, that maybe they had an ulterior motive in the past or they lied or were deceitful. Maybe weren't bringing 100% to a connection with you. You might have strong air in your chart and it's, you know, whether it be Air, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you know, it's just you getting mentally stern, mentally grounded on what you want. You're not going to take just any offer. You want the right offer. You want something that, you know, feels honest, feels true. And in the meantime, you're doing you. The energy of the person showing up. Thank you, Spirit. See, I, like I said, you, you're only going to have, you you want the, the right offer, the offer you feel drawn to as honest and sincere. Something that, you know, somebody in the, that you're moving towards isn't going to take, isn't going to be afraid to take their mask off. They're going to be all in. And as I just stumbled across my words, I feel like there is somebody that you may feel connected to already or they feel con a connection with you. And it, and it's almost like a soulmate connection with the lovers here. There might be somebody on the outside looking in. They're feeling like, you know, do they stand a chance? <clears throat> Should they come forward? Should they take their mask off and tell you how they feel? And as I say that, let's see what pops out. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be very unexpected. They're just going to like travel up that, that um, vine 
and you rescue one another. But I feel like it's going to be very unexpected. That wanted to pop out all on its own. What is the current situation? Ace of Pentacles. So you very well could be meeting somebody that with complicated love might be have might have a lot going on. You know, with the flirting and the passion, it's like they might be coming out of a relationship, going through a divorce, a separation. You may be. It's going to be different for each and every one of you, but it's like you find the playfulness, the flirtiness, the passion within the two of you very like it's it's just what you need you know and they're but they're offer they want stability with you it's going to be a solid offer you know it's just can you can you hold on why i get through all this can you i'll i'll do my best i'm going to i want to be with you but can you wait i got the divorce i've got to be in court divorce hearing custody hearing whatever it is there's things that are making it complicated but it's like you find the healing energy, the playful energy within each other, exactly what you need. Like I just got, you know, either you or your person looking at your phone, seeing that you have to be in court for something, or, you know, your ex is hitting you up, something that needs to be done with the kids, or they need you for, they need more money from you. And then you look at your phone and it's your other person who's being playful with you and just like, you know, sending you all these different emojis to make you smile. It's it's like that energy of what you need. But, I mean, you also want stability with this person. This person has a stable offer for you. They see long term with you. What is going to be the overall outcome? Of my kids, here it is. See? The Hierophant, the, the union. The union and both of you manifesting this. There's one, two, three, four, four major arcana in this little reading. So when major arcana trumps the number of minor arcana, it's divinely guided. It's faded. Your spirit guides have your back in this connection. And the Knight of Cups. Like I said, the playful, the romantic, um, the, the romantic gestures, the passion. You both want to sweep each other off. Your feet. All right, spirit. Please clarify Cancer's energy. Can you swords and the seven of swords? Thank you. Yeah, the five of pentacles. See what I mean? I feel like there's somebody that had ulterior motives in the past that left you feeling alone. I've left you feeling like on the outside looking in. With the Seven of Swords, it's like they weren't being honest. They could have lied. They could have been deceitful. They could have said they were all in when they weren't. But I feel like them doing that to you was just to bring... The offer that's truly meant for you. Here. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like what you thought was meant for you really was just to get you on the right path for what's truly meant for you. Please clarify the lovers. As cancer as person's energy. wish fulfillment another major arcana the stars see how the stars are aligning aligning right here for this higher level of connection to come about why did the tower flip over spirit yeah the lover see it, it's going to be there's somebody taking a leap of faith towards you why is the lovers here twice Yeah, look at this. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Cancer, you might have had an ending with this person and now they realize that they want 
to be with you. They want forever with you. They want that stability. With the Seven of Swords and complicated love, it could be that they were just going through tough times when they when they met you. They, Like I said, could have been a divorce. They could have just recently be, been separated. You could have just recently been... It's going to be different for each and every one of you, but I feel like there was an ending, and now they, they realize that they can't let this go. They want to be with you. They want forever with you. And why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Hangman. They, they got the aha moment. They did some soul searching. From the time that you had this ending with them, they've done some soul searching. It's like other connections that they've met um, and tried to move on to. They It just didn't bring what you brought. It didn't make them feel what you made them feel. And there is the aha moment. And now they realize they want to rush in. There's passion that exists here. There's like playfulness. There's flirtiness. You know, they just, they want to, they want to rush in and be that person for you and you to them. Why is the Hierophant and the Magician here? I very well think that this person never really left your, you know, your thoughts. I feel like all along, even you could have maybe moved on to someone else. They never, you always thought about them. And that is what's bringing this in, the manifestation. See? The Four of Swords. You've also went within. You took a break from this connection. You went within. You closed out cycles. You realized what no longer was resonating with you. And you're allowing this brand new beginning to start for you. You've manifested this. And like I said, the Four of Four. I mean, Four. Four of Wands. The Eleven Eleven card. The stability, the happiness within this connection. You have 4-4 four, four here. 6-6. Six, 10-10. Six, ten, ten. So definitely pay attention to these numbers. Spirit, please clarify. Cancer's reading. Now look. See how this turned out in reverse? It's like, see... The first time around, there could have been lies. There could have been things that just were going on and it wasn't the right time to actually come into contact with one another. You know, both of you could be go, could have been going through breakups and you felt like the person wasn't honest. It felt like you were backstabbed. But see how this is in reverse now? It's like they've come out of this energy... And now they realize what they felt for you was real. It wasn't just because they were going through hard times. Because now that they've gotten this all taken care of, they still feel that for you. Okay. Anything else for my Cancerians? Spirit. Anything else for my Cancerians? All right. Yeah, see, it's like there was another energy existing, whether, you know, an ex or you know, an ex or an ex-wife or soon to be ex-wife or soon to be ex-husband or somebody that you might have left that there was a child shared, like there was just a third energy existing somehow. But trust in divine timing. It could have been you that was very triggering for them. Meeting you was very triggering. Like, I need to get this handled as soon as possible. You know, you maybe your person was like, like very in slow motion getting it taken care of. Wanted to leave the person that they, you know, this third party energy might have been. But like taking their time. And then it was meeting you and then not having your energy that was like, you know what? Like, I, I got to get on it. I got to get beat. Slow and steady isn't winning right now. 
Like I gotta take that leap of for leap of take that jump forward and get this taken care of, whatever it's gotta be. I feel like in the absence of the two of you being together, there's like illness, there was fatigue, stress, anxiety over where you completely done. Am I ever gonna hear from them again? So it's either an air sign, cancer, cancers, or I'm not really getting fire. Well, we have four of wands here. Air energy, fire, water. So really we, yeah, there was just some time that the two of you needed to stand alone and take care of your situations, take care of your your duties, your responsibilities. You are the queer to person you know, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. See what I mean? They could have very well been holding out how they felt for you just because they had too much going on. Or maybe you even held out how you felt, felt for them because, you know, you just been burned. You're going through something that's making this current situation complicated. And it's like you might have, Put on the persona that you just were emotionally unavailable. But in realization, you you could see long term with this person. And you're going to go with your gut and your instincts on this. And during the harvest full moon um, energy in Pisces, you, you're very in tune to your instincts, to your, your gut feeling. You could have been dreaming about this person. But I feel like someone was feeling like left out, um, like there were secrets existing. You know, there could have been, you heard from them often or they heard from you often, then there was silence. Then you heard from them, then there was silence. You heard from them during the day, but not at night. You know, take what resonates. But either way, there's definitely this soulmate connection. And there is something, there is an offer coming in and you're going to be able to work on it, to be able to grow from it long, you know, long term. And it's going to be a success with the world card here. All right, let's see if there's anything else for you. Okay. See, happiness, abundance. I feel like you were definitely dreaming of one another or thinking this into existence. And you're both grateful to have one another. And it was the Phoenix rising. Once you go through the, the responsibilities and the, just the things that you both needed to take care of, then it's like you rekindle what you had. Phoenix rising. Better energy to be in the second time around. All right, love and light, Cancer. I will be back for the mid-month readings, and I hope you have the good rest of your week, and I'll be back by the weekend. Stay safe.